Are you looking for a dramatic change in your life? Well, that's what we're praying about today, transformation. One of my favorite scriptures on transformation is found in Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Perhaps others see you as offensive. Your language, the subjects you discuss, the stories you tell, are they appropriate for Christian conversation? Perhaps it's your holier-than-thou attitude, the way you look down on others in your I'll pray for you kind of way. Maybe it's your lack of involvement in issues that would prove that love of Christ that you're always tell telling others about, but they haven't seen it in action. Well, I've got good news. God forgives our sin. He shows us His way in His Word, and He gives us the power of the Holy Spirit to, to make the necessary changes in our lives. God allows U-turns, and He's waiting on you. The Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Why don't you let Him come in? There's nothing in this world to keep you has waited before, and now he is waiting again to see if you're willing to open the door. Oh, how he wants to come. Most gracious and loving Father in heaven, I ask please that you would provide for yourself a great and mighty harvest of souls for the kingdom, those who are being transformed into the likeness of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father in heaven, at this time, we pause and we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for listening and hearing our prayers. Our desire is to have a clean heart, oh God, and for you to renew a right spirit within us, within me. I give you permission to transform my life today. In Jesus' name, amen. Take one step towards the Savior, my friend. You'll find His arms are open wide. Receive Him and all of your darkness will end. Within your heart, He'll abide. time he has waited before and now he is waiting again to see if you're willing to open the door oh how he wants to Father in heaven, Lord, I come before you now, Lord, on behalf of myself and many others, Father, who are in need of transformation. Father, I believe that a lot of us still have spots in our lives, places in our own lives that need to be transformed. So, Father, I pray as David prayed in Psalms chapter 51, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, you know our hearts, you know our thoughts, you know what parts of us still need to be transformed. So I pray, Lord, that you will help us by 
helping us renew our minds and also help us, Father, to remember that in Christ we are new creations. The old life is gone and the new is here, Father, as Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So I pray for this transformation, not only for myself, but for others, Father, who are in desperate need because they want to be conformed to your image. I pray this all in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Father God, thank you for not leaving me the same person that I was before. You've changed me in so many ways, in so many ways. I thank you, Father, for the continued journey that we're on together and the promise that you will not leave me as you found me. Yet, Lord, if there is any unclean way in me, show me, Father. Lead me in the way everlasting for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And Galatians 2, verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So let's pray. Father, I want to thank you that you have made a change in me. And I thank you for those who are watching. There are those who are celebrating um, multiple years of freedom from the chains that once held them. Those that are celebrating sobriety. God, thank you for your power to deliver. Thank you for your power to, to change us, to cleanse us. God, we give you glory that you are the deliverer. Father, I know that there are those who are watching who are praying for family members and friends who need salvation. This one writes, Pray for a friend to be, be delivered from Facebook um, and from alcohol, from bitterness, from selfishness, from anger. Lord, it's amazing the things that we allow to, to, to bind us. So, Lord, we need your deliverance. We pray for the this, the salvation of this one for her marriage. God, many are watching that need, need strength in their marriage. They need your healing touch, God. Fill them with love for their spouse. We love you, God. One writes, I've been struggling with my faith in Jesus Christ. Please be praying for me. Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit that, that convicts us and stirs us to want a closer walk with you. Oh God, as we desire to draw close to you, we know that we will find you there. We pray for those who are going through surgery. This one says, please pray for my mother-in-law as she'll be having surgery. God, this world is full of, of sickness. We thank you, God, for the doctors and the nurses who are able to assist in our health. But we know it's your healing touch, ultimately, that does the, does the work. So, Father, please heal. This one prays for deliverance. My son needs deliverance from addictions. Another has a grandson who's been dealing with an addiction to drugs. Oh God, it's terrible to see 
our friends and family go through these situations. We want so badly to help. And all we can do is pray. But thank God that that is basically all we need to do. We turn it over to you and we know that you have the power. You are able to deliver. Though by sin we are oppressed, we can come to you for rest and know that you will deliver. So I praise you, Lord, for that. We read in Psalm 107, verse 1, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. God, You're worthy of our praise and our thanksgiving. You are good. You are compassionate. A loving God in every season. Praise the Lord. Hmm. Psalm 32, 8. God tells us, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. So in your transformation, be open to God's leading and trust that He will lovingly counsel you as you transition into who He wants you to be for His glory. I have decided I'm going to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. You know, James 1 commands us to be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving ourselves. For it is not the hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, who will be blessed in their doing. So I pray that today brings you closer to Christ in your pursuit of transformation. Make the decision to follow Him and to be changed to be like Him. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided I'm going to follow Jesus. I hope you will decide to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Please send us your prayer request or become a part of our prayer warrior team. For more information, please visit 3abn.tv forward slash prayer or call for prayer at 618-627-4651, extension 1. And thank you for being a part of the Worldwide 3ABN family.